Hi everyone, so here we are with Invent or Don't Invent. Today I'm going to be talking about advanced weapon for police idea. It's basically an advanced weapon for for the police force, military force, um, maybe security guard force as well. Especially for security guards because they don't really need a real weapon. Anyway, or a lethal weapon, I think. So here I thought of a way to add a taser gun. I don't well yeah, a taser gun here and then a real firing firearm and basically this will be the the um diagram of the weapon of course and then and then here you have um this here is a taser gun by itself but what i was thinking was getting a taser gun and then a real weapon a lethal weapon and integrating them together so that therefore you will need to have tool two tools on your purse on your on your person um, on your person right like you just it'll, it'll be less weight so you could run faster and travel faster um, and basically what I was thinking it will be the same thing with the concept with uh, the mags that will still be in effect um, but what what I noticed, especially uh, watching some cop videos, um, cops, right? Cop show, cops. Um, here, and there's a bunch of things, uh, a bunch of videos that you guys can watch, and um, there is actually one case where. Um, a there is a police pursuit and um, this guy was like basically running uh, from the cops and then he stopped at a police station and then they basically shot him um, because he was desperate for another vehicle or, and he was definitely not going to be pumping gas you know while the cops were there so his move was to take out someone for the vehicle so he was brought down so my um, my idea was basically when a taser gun um, taser gun is used usually um, I think it can only be like used once, right? And then it's it's like no longer um, good unless you have additional cartridges like this. Um, so what I was kind of thinking was doing that with the with the real weapon, and then uh, with like basically. Um, where the bullet itself can be like a taser kind of like a uh, what is it a lock a block gun and basically what this is is um, like a sandbag um, type of weapon and I can't find what I'm looking for, so I'll I'll do a um, sandbag type of uh, block, and it's something like this. Um, and and it's very uh, I don't know, it's not even coming up, but. Um, basically, it's something like this, where when it hits someone, it, it, it uh, 
basically brings the person down and can actually break bones and stuff as well but what I was kind of thinking was this idea and where multiple um, uh, strings or, or, or lightning or, or something um, can come out of the weapon and shock the victim or the person whatever right that it could shock the the um, the person that I think is a fugitive or a victim I forget the word I mean you figure it out right this is not a court hearing but anyway um, so yes you you would basically have a lethal option and a non-lethal option and what I was thinking was at the bottom you have the uh, at the bottom you have the lethal option uh, button like a remote control because that's what this is it's like a uh, remote control like a PlayStation uh, video game um, kind of um, button right and if say you you had to think about um, you know reloading or something like that so non-lethal well you don't want that to to be um, mistaken um, so you basically have to add the button somewhere else to, at the very top or side so that's something that you have to think about to to push that button or something right so by default you have lethal you know to protect yourself of course because you come first but then there will be the non-lethal which will make you think you know like is this for is this person worth killing or not you know so I was thinking well we have what like what is the ultimate um, uh, like uh, cause or results that you want and that is to basically detain this person um, so what you want to do uh, is basically bring him down to justice or bring that person down to question him or to take him to to jail or whatever the situation might be so imagine a bullet having the same capabilities like a um, like a taser gun like a late, uh, taser gun so imagine if the person got shot and they got you know demobilized in a way so if that person got demobilized and he can't run he can't jump fences he would just be basically dropped dead but not physically dead he would just fucking get so shocked that he'll go to sleep which will give you time to go detain him take him into custody you know so that that is uh, something that I was thinking and with today's technology and stuff like that that's um, doable now so um, it's basically revolutionizing the bullet and adding um, this like imagine this as the bullet so now like how how is a bullet how does a bullet work let's check bullet diagram right and all it is is it, it, it's two different um, chambers see you have this chamber here that holds the the um, powder charge I was gonna say call it TNT so you have that and then you have the shell that holds both of these things together and then you have the actual metal iron um, um, you know uh, piece of metal which is called a bullet right um, and then over here that's what the gun machine the 
hammer hits, boom, and then it explodes here, and then that forces that out. So that's how it works. Um, so it could have this powder charge still, but then have this taser in here somewhere. So when it when it go, when it flies and it hits the victim or the person, the fugitive, whatever, it will shock the crap out of them. They'll drop down to the ground. And then if you need more, well, you just, you could use more. But I think that would be better than this idea, probably, right? If you could have some type of weapon like that where it's not lethal, but it would fucking drop the shit out of someone, right? And, and make them go down permanently. Uh, for a period of time enough to put the handcuffs on them and if they're running from you yeah you can shoot them you know because you're not actually killing them you're not you're not you know um, shooting to kill you're shooting to demobilize and to bring that person down so um, yeah I think it's 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 a great idea uh, for for um, the future of law enforcement um, it, it would obviously require someone smart enough or um, a group of people to come together to make it happen and to um, and to you know, uh, in a way, bring this into existence and into the public's um, environment, you know, um, because now, you know, people won't be able to say, oh, the cops killed this person, they're fucking racist, they're not, like, fuck you and all your comments, you know, like, you know, honestly, we all have a job to do, and that way, you know, people that have fucking stupid ass remarks and um, fucking ideas. Well, now there's a weapon that will kill people. It will demobilize them. And I think that's, that's better than just killing someone cold-blooded. Or not cold-blooded, but like, you know, just killing someone. And then... Um, you know, because what, what, what is the, um, the, uh, long-term goal, you know, and that's what we got to kind of think about. What is the long-term goal? And the long-term goal is to, yes, bring that motherfucker down, right? Whoever the fuck it might be, bring that motherfucker down and then take him to court or take him to the hospital or take him to jail or whatever, um, and then, you know, you're happy, everyone else is happy, this, you know, the streets don't no longer have that person on the streets in society, and then that's when counselors will get involved and uh, talk to the person and, you know, aid them with, 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 with uh, mental help if needed and, um, help that person to, you know, in whatever area they might need help with. And I think that's what it really comes down to. You know, if, if a person robbed someone else or killed someone else or whatever, well, they just need to be brought down and um, taken to justice, right? That's, the, that's, that's what I'm getting to. So um, I know that there's a lot of controversial stuff and I'm not trying to get into that and uh, I I know I, I just talk freely sometimes sometimes out of my ass asshole but what, what I'm trying to get at is what I just said and yeah I think it would be a great idea if someone could kind of come up with something that will work and that will be effective Right?
So I hope someone out there can create something like that and basically taking this non-lethal weapon and advancing it where it will be in, in, a, in a bullet form type of uh, concept like I showed you guys in the bullet diagram uh, here you know you have the gunpowder and then the, the non-lethal bullet um, so maybe maybe replaced with a um, non-bullet one or something like that I don't know but I, I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say it's lethal weapons and that's the military you know when we go to war and stuff you know what I mean those, those are the people that need it you know not not security guards in my opinion you know like just fucking shoot the fuck out of them with a non-lethal weapon and then put the handcuffs on them and everyone's happy you know what I mean oh shoot what is this it's a yeah see it's already invented little spikes there <laughs> so we see so I'm not I'm not that stupid people see other people are thinking about the same type of concept um, so yeah um, I don't know what else I had here um, yeah I was just thinking about adding both of those guns together lethal and non lethal um, multiple reloads and then I added a link uh, I don't know what this link is for let's go check it out Wow, that was intense. I don't even know why I put that. I think I put it because uh, um, the taser didn't work. And that's what made me think about this idea to basically reload the little things. Um, and in that case, I would have probably shot the dude. I'm not lying. But anyway, especially with that big knife in his hands, um, waving it at another officer, right? Um, so, yeah, like I think this here, fuck, everyone would have shot the motherfucker. See, but what, what, what is um, the main thing? Honestly, what is the main thing? The main thing, the reason they all did a shoot because they're all scared to fucking shoot the motherfucker and killing them. Like, they don't want that on, on them, on their conscience, you know? So, if they could all bust out their weapons and shoot them because he was fucking being violent, shoot them with a non lethal. Like that. Bam. Motherfucker will get dropped real quick. Yep. So that right there, but like in in a handgun type of concept, is just advancing the bullet people with today's technology, computers. Who knows? This shit could fucking have some uh, a guiding type of missile type of concept too, where it'll follow the fucking victim wherever he's going and running to. Who knows? Like. 
maybe later on everyone will be hand you know weapon free where the government will have this like in space somewhere and someone's acting up well they'll just shoot them from space down boom and then yeah they'll get tased um but i don't know <laughs> oh my god it all seems like a joke people but it's not it's not a joke okay so we have this taser shit right we'll fucking add that shit on the motherfucking baton people shock the motherfuckers while you're hitting them <laughs> fucking be creative with this shit you know this is not a fucking game. There you go, a flashlight with the stun gun. I don't know. But I'm done here talking about all this. Um, I think you guys get the idea, right? <sighs> I, think, I think I covered everything. Yeah. I think I did. Now, will will something with the taser gun like this? Will this uh, go through like glass and stuff? And the answer would be no. Of course not. So that's why maybe it could have two chambers: one for non-lethal, one for lethal. Or something like that. Um, and the whole weapon can be redesigned to handle both. Like a, you know, having a weapon like this and then adding an additional one. Well, the grip would be too much for your hand. Right? But the the scope could be on the side. See, we, we've been taught to hold it from eyesight to the aiming, to this aiming, to to get an accurate shot. But it could also be over here, over here, and then the the bullets could actually come from the top down or from even up here where um, and um, I'm basically trying to show you guys how a a uh, the bullet system thing works and basically what it is 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 uh, a spring there's a spring in here and for every bullet that goes up th there's a machine this machine pushes the bullets forward uh, upwards um, it, it forces them upwards um, something like this it's just a spring so there's nothing uh, you know nothing crazy it's just something simple See, and then the bullets are in the in the um, in the handle, but who who is to say that that needs to be here? You know what I mean? Like these bullets could be, uh, they could go through here, um, this way, like this, like that, and then drop. When they drop, they could drop in into the thing, and then shot that way. So now you have one row of lethal, one row of non-lethal. And then fuck it, you have some additional ones here for emergency. Like, there is no limit to how this is designed. Like, you could get as creative as you want. So, there is no set rule of how a weapon should be um, designed and built. You know, it's it, there's so many weapons out there. It's ridiculous. Um, 
it's it's crazy I could show you guys um, like for the types of weapons so you have rifles machine guns you have all kinds of weapons you know what I mean so and this is all military stuff this is for the military like look at this you know so there is no limit to where the clip has to go like see the bullets are not in this one that I know of but they're over here but maybe there's two little things maybe this one is for that and then these bigger ones are for that who knows but anyways there's so many things man it's crazy um but yeah like I guess that that sh that should be left to like the professionals to people that design these things because obviously military or officers police officers that in from my understanding don't build guns they just use them as a tool for their job but there is people out there that invent this idea that design new ones and you know that um Per, you know, if their ideas proves to be effective and accurate, then that's what they give to police personnel. Um, so there's many ways that this can be enhanced and, and evolved. And um, yeah, like there, there's just so many, so many cool things that that will bring if 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 it was um like the laser gun because now you know um the the um the bullet type of weapons will probably be able to um be banned from from every state except if you're a military official um I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um because I mean if you even if you go hunting, like say you go hunting for hunting a deer or a bear or whatever, then you could use this if it's fucking able to bring them down, you know, and then go over there and you know, do whatever you like doing to the animal. Cleaning them up, you say, right? So yeah, you do all that fun stuff that you consider fun. And um, and then uh, yeah, I'll go to the store and buy your hamburger with the meat that you caught. So yeah, I'm not talking shit at all. Um, but it's, it's all about safety. And I think... Um, that's that's all I'm trying to get at, honestly. Yeah, but it's a lot of crazy stuff, man. A lot of crazy inventions, huh? It's cool. Inventions everywhere. So don't 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 be afraid to be creative people. See like look at this. It's just like a a spring, you know, some little um you know clock me mechanisms in there, you know, to make everything operate correctly or function correctly. And uh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. But it's simple. It's very simple. It's not even complicated. And I I created uh, an engine myself with a Faraday engine, um, basically copying one. Um, and I shared a video about that. And it's basically copying um, one Faraday flashlight. And that's that was my engine that I created, and it's a simple concept, and anyone could do it. Um, but yeah, like I did it, 
because all it is 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 an engine that forces a bunch of these in sequence in sequence form um and then the magnet goes in and out of the coil and it generates power well that power can be um used to power homes cars um other weapons um pressure washers pressure washer pr water can be used as a weapon as well especially if it, it's a, if it has a high psi level it could be used for for a lot of things so yes people don't don't be afraid to to dream and to think big because you never know where your inventions are going to go and where they're going to be used at you know what I mean? So don't let no one bring you down and talk crap because your idea might be different from all these other ideas. You know, think about when the first weapon was brought to the table. It was just one. And then someone thought about like this big rifle one and everyone probably made fun of that person, you know, at that time. But now it's highly... Um, uh, considered like imagine who thought about this they were probably laughing at that person too like yeah right a gun on a car ha 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 who would ever do that it's so funny huh it's so funny when when you don't have no money and you're fucking broke like I am but when shit hits the fan we need these inventions to protect lives, to protect people. Dana thieves. So yeah. Don't be afraid people to dream and to think outside of the box. That's all I'm trying to say. And I'm not doing these videos to get views and to get recognition and to get people to like me or to dislike me or to get views and shit. Like, I don't give a fuck about that. You can do whatever searches you want on the internet. No one gives a fuck. I'm just doing me. I'm, I'm trying to come up with some ideas to share with people. That's all I'm doing. Like, you thought a gun was a little game? Like, look at this. You know how much it costs to just build one of these? Talking about millions, people. Millions of dollars. So, fuck you and what the fuck you thought about me. Like, these ideas can be used and taken and used for, for, um, for the advancement of peace and no violence in our streets and communities. So, yes, I, that's why I'm making these videos, because yes, they might just be concepts, they might just be ideas, but these ideas are being used every single day on people, and some people are using it on other people, because shit hits the fan every single day. It's not a, a secret. It's happening every single day. And people, some people are dying every single day because they resist, they resist the authorities and they have to use 
um, force, you know, and 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 that's that. Well, they just have to do their job. That's that's what they've been trained to do, you know. So, I mean, if if you have a loved one, and in some cases that person could be drunk, that person could be intoxicated, that person can be. Um, you know, on drugs or something, we never know what what it what it is, and sometimes it is difficult to to get that person down. Like you know, as you guys see here, sometimes they they could be on 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 super hyped up drugs or whatever that is difficult for these for these officers to take them down and to um to, to do their job effectively. So. Yeah, like something like this with a um, with the taser gun idea, that it would be very good because if you if you just attempted to run, they could just shoot you, and you're not dead. You know, you could cry all you fucking want. Who gives a fuck? You're not dead. Be happy, motherfucker. But um, I'm done with all this shit. You know. It was just an idea, people. And I hope you guys like my video. If you guys liked it, go check out my other videos on Invent or Don't Invent on Facebook. Thank you and have a great day. And thank you everyone out there that is serving the people and bringing peace and prosperity to America and, the world and around the world. And um, I salute all of you for that. Thank you guys. Much love.